Hello and welcome back. It's day 10 of the GCSE Geography Revision 100 day until your exam countdown thing. There's definitely a more catchy name for it than that but that's what we're introducing this video as. So today we're looking at the evidence for climate change. So let's go. It's not as cold as it used to be. There have been warmer periods called interglacial periods within the time of the last ice age and now. Notice that today's average temperature is higher than almost all of the last 400,000 years. Since 1880, this average in global temperature has risen by 0.85 degrees centigrade. Most of this increase has actually occurred since the mid-1970s. Global effects of climate change. Climate change has already had significant effects on many global ecosystems and many people's lives. Many of the world's glaciers and ice caps are shrinking. The Arctic Sea is less extensive than in the past, affecting wildlife such as polar bears. However, this may provide opportunities for ships using the Northwest Passage in the future. Low-lying islands such as the Maldives are under threat from sea level rise. And sea level rising by just one metre by 2100, so however many years that is from now, 77? which actually isn't that far away, um, could flood agricultural land in Bangladesh, Vietnam, India, China, and so many more. Things are heating up. Direct measurements from temperature using therm thermometers have indicated a clear warming trend. But what's the evidence for this? We've got shrinking glaciers and melting ice. Glaciers throughout the world are shrinking and retreating it's estimated that some will disappear completely by 2035. Arctic sea ice has thinned by 65% since 1975, and in 2014 its extent was at an all-time low. We've got rising sea levels. According to the ITC, IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the average global temperature has risen between the average global the average global sea level has risen between 10 and 20 centimetres in the past 100 years. There are two reasons why sea levels have risen. Firstly, when temperatures rise, fresh water and ice caps melt. More water flows into the seas from the glaciers and the ice caps, so there is more water. And then the second one, when, water, when ocean water warms, it expands. This is called thermal expansion. So firstly, there is more water in the ocean, and two, that water is expanding. And then thirdly, seasonal changes. Studies have shown that the timing of natural seasonal activities, such as tree flowering and bird migration, is advancing. A study of bird nesting in the mid-1990s discovered that 65 species nested an average of nine days earlier than in the 1970s. Could this be evidence of a warming world? So we're going to briefly look at the question. Explain how the shrinkage of Arctic sea ice could be evidence of climate change. So how could that be evidence of climate change? We've got warmer temperatures and so they are melting quicker at an increased rate. Um, the rising sea levels are also evidence of climate change and how the warmer the sea the easier it is for them to erode the base of these ice caps and glaciers if they're like above the sea level um, we've also got um, evidence that they are melting and therefore there is more water within the sea so sea levels are rising um, that's the main evidence linked with arctic sea ice um but what else could you think of they may also talk about um using the what's it called the west the northwest passage yeah the northwest passage which is a passage that gets kind of around the arctic circle which currently and has been for many many years in the winter is inaccessible because it freezes over and the ice is so thick that you can't get through it um ships just aren't built like that or it takes so much energy to go through it it just doesn't make sense um but if these melt um, and if the sea ice becomes thinner those ships will be able to go through it will save them time and money but 
is what like what's the environmental impact of that it's something to bear in mind when we think about that so thank you very much for watching i hope you have found this useful and i will see you tomorrow for day 11 bye guys